So I really love to sketch. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I'll show you some that I've done. I like to do fantasy a lot of the time, weird stuff. And I like to, I am obsessed with space. And I like to draw planets and humans mixed together like this one. But there's this one that is my top favorite that I love to work on that is kind of magical. Whenever I work on it, it will transport me to the scene and I can live it over and over again and also just transport to the horses so we can have fun together and be happy. <laughs> I know it sounds not the most believable, but it actually works so I can go to the ranch and have fun with the horses and take care of them. Here it comes. Isn't it so magical? We're about to go to the ranch. We just have to keep working on it a little bit more until it happens. See? Here we go. <laughs> I, can't stop la I can't help myself but laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so here is Rumpelstiltskin, skin the afro guy <laughs> i like this place the best because it's just there's a pond right there and it's just so open and there's lots of shady beautiful green trees horses they can like it's like they are basically a lot like humans. They're really intelligent and they can express their feelings a lot. It's, it's, it's really fun to have the horse around you all the time. They, they just make you feel really happy when you see them. <laughs> when I meet a horse, I, I have to get to know them before um, we like become friends. It's like rushing into a relationship. You have to let them sniff you out and like, like taste you a little bit. They feel with their mouths. So they like kind of get to familiar your touch. Try not to let them bite you though. I <laughs> think. <laughs> Um, I like grooming horses because you get to like feel like their fur and you get to pet them and it's really satisfying when they're all dirty and mucky and then you just make them squeaky clean. <laughs> it makes me feel happy to, to take care of someone, make them feel good, nice and fresh, so they're not disgustingly dirty. Some horses' hair can be extremely naughty. It can be so naughty that you have to pick out the dreads. But looks like she's gotten her hair brushed recently. Right here where I've been talking about, it's a bunch of extra hair. Lots of shed, so you push it this way, then you push it that way. <laughs> Lots of hair. At first, um, they did seem extremely large and they were basically towering over me. It's scary at first, but once you like get used to them and uh, you know, get to know them, it's actually not bad. But I think I got it. I just have to try and get it in the hole. Okay, there we go. So on a horse's back, you can feel their, just how they're feeling. 
touch their fur, like just like soothes them. <laughs> that also soothes me. <laughs> and you kind of feel really high up. <laughs> it's like it's like you can kind of go like this, not like this. <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right, you ready? See, I'm I'm nervous, but you want to go like this. You just want to take a deep breath, and then, like one time, I did that, and the horse felt my energy, and then he took a deep breath. That's all good. The horses aren't just there; they're they have a spirit and they have feelings too. So you want to treat them with care. If you don't share that love connection, it just makes the relationship not good. I'm, I'm a big thinker. I like to imagine things a lot. And uh, so I like to, you know, center a tree. It's really nice. To sit under a tree and um, daydream.